Hello everyone, this is Heisei Jumping Vlog. Anyway, um, I'm on to actually Heisei 7. Yay! Heisei 7 actually the the one that everyone knows in Heisei Jump. Now, um, they are probably the most popular, um, what do you call it, the subgroup is more popular than Heisei Best. But she's unfortunate, because I really like Heisei Best. But then again, I'm like exactly in the middle of Heisei Best, and it says Heisei 7. Almost exactly. If I was born in April, it would be. But I'm born in February, two months ahead. Um, which means that I actually get to be the same age as Daiki for two months. But unfortunately, there's a two-month period where I am two years older than uh, Kito. So anyway, um, um, about Okamoto Kito. Okamoto Kito. He is majorly awesome. He's my second favorite since Takagi is my first. Then it's K Kito, and then there's Hikaru. Um, ever since I saw him back when they debuted, well, I saw him before they debuted, but I didn't really pay too much pine besides basically rumors are going around about him. Um, which means, like, he was going to join Heisei 7. Like, oh, they're going to put him in Heisei 7. And either him or Ueko-san or something like that. And so, and I was like, um, I was okay with it. I mean, he was okay. Besides the fact he really, really short hair. And, yeah, actually, that didn't really mind much. But anyway, when he, and I saw him after they debuted, I was like, whoa, that's a really odd child within them. But, you know... Everyone started hating on him, and I'm like, why is everyone hating on him? I mean, yeah, he his dad's a Johnny. Yeah, but that didn't mean that he actually, you know, um, got special support for being, oh, your dad's a Johnny. I mean, it's not like his dad was, like, you know, Kimura Tokyo or something like that, like, big-name guy. I mean, he was still pretty cool. After I looked at him some more, he's pretty cool. But it wasn't like, like... He was getting all this because he was doing it based on his own effort. He decided to... I mean, he's basically kind of had a hard life. Um, he's probably... After Takaki, I probably know the most about him and worry the most about him. Most of, like, things about him that I'm probably going to rant about a lot, probably in this vlog, maybe in some other ones, because I have to absolutely love the whole entire concept of, you know, Kato, he's, like, second generation, but he doesn't, like, it doesn't seem like it. So anyway, a little bit about him. He joined in 2000, if I'm correct, he joined in 2000, um, uh, 2006, um, but I'm gonna go check. It's interesting, when you go and type Kato's name, it's very difficult to find his name by actually typing his name. You have to type it separate, like, Kato. It's more like, Kato. Oh, he joined in, um, August 14th, 2006. So, next year will be his five years. He's been in Johnny for five years, yay! Um, so, basically... Yeah, during that time, he's born um, Jan um, April 1st, which is April Fool's Day, 1993. Um, he's 17 years old right now, but he's going to be 18. Yay! And not only that, he is probably the, him and Yuto are probably the most adult-looking ones in Heisei 7. Keito and Yuto have always been, like, really competitive on their height and stuff. Um, but Yuto won. <laughs> but Keito has the most ma manly build for him. Not only that, he's amazing alarms and stuff, and, um, so anyway, so he was basically, um, basically, ooh, that's interesting information, anyway, he basically, um, is, uh, I mean, he does have some talent, I mean, his, uh, after he joined Johnny's, I mean, he, he still lived in England, but he'll come back every summer for Johnny concerts and stuff, 
our Johnny Jr. concerts, and the person to teach him the dances and stuff would be Yuto. Yuto became his really good friend, to the point where I bet you he was very stalkerish, Keito. He's very stalkerish, like, he's, like, asking his dad, oh, what, what's going on with Yuto? His dad is like, oh, he's doing this, this, this. Very amazing friendship there. <laughs> very stalkerish, you know. But Keito's awesome. He's, he's our, he's our, um, our English boy. Um, and so... Then when they decided Heisei's Jump will be a group, um, that that's an interesting story about how Heisei's Jump became a group. Basically, the members of Heisei's Jump was told two days before it was announced. So it was announced September 23rd. So um, the 21st um, would be basically the real anniversary of when they found out that Johnny that Heisei's Jump was going to debut. But they weren't allowed to tell anyone. Not even a, people in Johnny's that, oh, they're going to debut. Having ten boys not being able to say, oh my gosh, they're going to debut, probably was really hard on them. Um, but Kato, on the other hand, was actually supposed to go back to England three days after he found out. Um, so that day, he's like, which wouldn't make quite much sense. He has to tell his dad, oh, um, I can't go back to England. <laughs> I can't tell you why. I just can't go back to England. He was supposed to go back to England, but he wind up, you know, debuting, and so, in the end, his friends, he's like, oh, oh, I'm gonna go to Japan, like, normal for summer break, blah, 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 I'll be back, and no, he doesn't go back, which I think that might be a really big issue, um, then after that, um, he... something random um so after you know he's i mean people when you saw him he doesn't seem like he has much talent but now he has made up for it he has took up guitar and he's just amazing guitarist i mean and then not only that is he's he, i mean he could dance he used to be like the stupid one where you look in the back and you're like oh my gosh what's he doing now he's amazing Amazing. I mean, he practices. He makes sure he knows that dance and stuff. So, I might even have to make another part in this today. Because I have so much I want to talk about Kate, though. Because I absolutely love him. Um, but anyway, he, um, uh, that's another thing. Is In 2007, before Heisei Jump was formed, um, and stuff, his parents divorced. Because, um, the reason why is his mom said... Well, it's kind of your fault. Our son's kind of a little different. I mean, he doesn't understand Japanese very well. At that time, he wasn't really good at Japanese because he was used too much about English and stuff. So he's like, you just randomly decided, oh, he should go to England, which was actually a decision that happened. He woke up one day, and Dad's like, oh, we're going to go drive. And he's like, oh, we're going to school. No, went to the airport and got on a plane by himself and wind up in England. So, he just told that story, and I was like, whoa, amazing, amazing story. So, so I think he might, and it kind of feels like, but I might, oh, I can't even express my thought of, and, but now he lives with his dad, and it's interesting. Uh, mom conversations, he doesn't do. So, like, they're talking about, um, on a show, the music hour, about, oh, what do you call your mom? He didn't raise his hand for anything he calls his mom. He doesn't call his mom anything, because I don't think he sees his mom. But, you know, we don't know anything. Um, but he, I mean, the one thing he did say about his mom was he la she laughed at him one time when he fell off the monkey bars. I mean, it was totally like, oh, la like, normal laugh, and then you're like, hold on, are you okay? Afterwards. <laughs> but... Yeah. Oh, I should show a picture of Kato since... I wonder if it's one of my torn pages. Nope, it's not. But I bet you one of my torn pages would become Kato. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Okay, this is Kato. Oh, this face is over on the side. Okay. Oh, well. Kato. Kato, Kato, Kato. And then he is also, okay, he's probably down more and more and more and more. 
somewhere down there. <laughs> down at the bottom over there. Anyway, I don't have time to um try to find Kato on my oh, he's up there. One that one right there. Anyway, see you guys. Stay tuned for Yamada.